All right, what's going on YouTube? So my name is Tommy Martin and I am officially now Dr. Tommy Martin as I have matched into MedPeds at the University of Arkansas. And so I wanted to continue on my video series of my kind of third and fourth year boot camp or kind of help you um, be ready and prepared for third and fourth year. And I only did the introduction video and so now I'm gonna go through this series and hopefully help you guys out with things like personal statements, your CV, residency interviews, and things like that. But in this video, what I want to talk about is how to set up your third year and fourth year in kind of that timeline of how everything's going to get done over these next two years. All right, so before I get to this video, I want you to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine. First day of third year, I emailed all the affiliated hospitals and asked them what fourth year electives they had. Okay, and all of them responded, why are you emailing me so soon? We have not scheduled even last year's class for their electives yet, but it got my name in the system and they knew I was super eager. So schedule your fourth year electives early. All right, so you're gonna go all throughout third year. Throughout your third year, make sure that you're asking for letter of recommendations, especially in the fields that you want to go into. So my third year went from the end of April all the way until May, and then in May I ended, I believe May 5th, I took about four weeks to study for Step 2 CK, and then um, my Step 2 CK was timeline there that Step 2 CK should be done after your third year of clinical rotations, and you should take anywhere from four to eight weeks to study for that. If you're the January class, you have a ton of time, which is very beneficial. Okay, and something I did not mention is step two CS, the clinical skills exam, should be scheduled probably before the end of your third year. I would recommend a month or a month and a half before the end of your third year. All right, so now you have done step two CS, you have ended your third year of rotations, you took four to five, maybe even six that in June and then I personally because I wanted to use my free time later I started rotations my fourth year rotations the Monday after my step exam okay so I had no break but that's because I wanted to get right into my fourth year electives and get the ball rolling so I had more time to take off during interview season okay so now you've started your fourth year electives what I'd really recommend is your fourth year electives all of the time up until September, make these very important electives. Places where you want to shine, places where you may want to get a residency um, in the field that you want to do because these are people you can still get a letter of recommendation from before your application goes in in September. Okay, so the ERAS applications must be submitted in September. Okay, and just a side note, it are other things that you should be working on all throughout this time is your personal statement, your CV, asking for letter of re recommendations. All these things should be a continuous process throughout third year and the beginning of fourth year. Okay, so then ERAS application goes in in September, and now residency interview season starts. This is a very exciting time. So then like October, November, December is interview season. So I personally took the whole month the November off I went on my honeymoon um, and then I did uh, interviews throughout that time and then, then uh, you could even do some interviews in January okay so interview season goes till January and then if you're like myself you should almost be done with fourth year electives I finished at the end of March and uh, match event was in the middle of March okay so that's pretty much your whole year you know there's really not that big of a timeline okay and just to recap for January really quick just rapid fire so you take step one you start your clinical um, your third year clinical rotations you take step two CS a month before it ends then you finish third year you study for a month you take step two CK you start fourth year electives you turn in ERAS in September and then you go on residency interviews because you're gonna get a ton you're gonna kill it you're gonna get a ton of interviews you're gonna go on those all the way through January then you're gonna end rotations in March hopefully and then you're gonna match around March 16th how exciting is that 
super exciting. That's the timeline for you, for the January people. And then uh, you start residency around June 18th, I think is when we're starting. Okay, so that's the January class. Let's get to the August class. Very briefly, majority of the things stay the same, except for a couple different hiccups. So I'm just gonna go over those. For the August class, your third year will not end until about the first or second week in August. And what this means is for you to get step two CK done in time for ERAS, you need to take it, I believe, by the second or third week in August. But email your coordinator, um, look up the dates, and see the last possible date that you could take step two CK to get it in on time. Okay, and so what this means is your last rotation of third year, you really need to be preparing for step two CK because you may only have about two weeks of dedicated time. Okay, so that's the first major change. The next major change is that you do not have any time where you could do very, very important fourth year electives to get a letter of recommendation from before ERAS is over. The only one you might be able to do is your very first rotation. Okay, so your very first rotation of fourth year, make it a very good one, one that you would want to get a letter of rec recommendation from and talk to them early on, maybe the first or second week of rotations and ask them, say, look, you know, I know ERAS has to be turned in soon, but I really would love a letter of recommendation from you. Could you please write me a good one so that it could go in my file? Okay, so that's kind of the biggest changes for the August class. And they also, you know, everything else still applies. They should take CS a month or a month and a half, maybe even two months before their third year ends. My wife, she took hers maybe four months before, before hers ended and she did fine. Okay, so those are kind of the big changes. And then also you do not get a month off like the January class. And so you need to schedule your electives tight, you know, all the way throughout. And maybe, you know, October, November, try to schedule some easier ones like radiology or pathology where you could take off time for interviews. Because that's going to be kind of the crux of the interview season, the big high volume interview season time. And then for you, your rotations will probably end around the end of April. Uh, match day is still the same for you. Everything else is still the same. So really that's kind of the big difference is the big big two differences for the August class you don't get much time to study for step 2 CK so make sure you're doing that you schedule it early um, second make sure to schedule all your electives back to back you don't have much time at all for time off or any of that and then schedule some easy electives during the months of November November would be a good month to get an easy one all right guys so that's kind of just the timeline I'm definitely gonna be covering a lot more topics about your third and fourth year in much more detail especially personal statements your CV how to rock the interviews all those things okay but anything you want specific specific videos on make sure to comment below I love you guys greatly before I leave I want you to know that you are greatly greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine.